Hi, Michael from New Tech Communications here. Uh, just a quick answer on uh, a question I get quite often asked, and that is, what's the difference between duplex and simplex on the UHF CB radio? Uh, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, the duplex button on a radio, as shown here, duplex, uh, and this particular radio has the duplex as a secondary function, you need to press the function button before you can switch it into duplex mode. The duplex function will operate between channels 1 to uh, channel 8 and on the new um, van plan uh, from 41 to 48. So what does that exactly mean? If you're on channel 1 to 8 and you don't have the duplex button pushed in, is there any uh, problems with doing that? Um, and what should you expect? Let me uh, explain to you exactly what the difference is between simplex and duplex and try and clarify uh, the issue up. Okay, so uh, here we've just got a bit of a quick demonstration of what the difference is between simplex and duplex. In a simplex mode, uh, or what we call uh, radio to radio mode, um, we have uh, a particular, uh, I'll just draw two radios to give you a bit of an example, um, a radio here and a radio over here. Now the distance between those radios might be uh, kilometres, um, the distance might be metres. Particularly uh, mobile radios, you'll find that the distance will probably be kilometres. Uh, so with the radios, and we'll just draw an antenna, Uh, with the radios uh, on the same channel and operating in simplex mode, uh, you just have basic communications between each radio. Uh, one radio will transmit and one radio will receive and vice versa. So in this particular instance, we're going to do a demonstration and say we're on channel 4 on this radio and we're going to say we're on channel 4 on this radio. This radio will have uh, its... Uh, radio configured in simplex mode and which that means that when it transmits it transmits on channel 4 and the receiving radio will receive it on channel 4 so you have a direct line of sight a direct com communications between the two so duplex mode it's a totally different uh, operation in duplex mode you usually have a repeater up on a hill, but not always is it up on a hill. Usually a hill is an ideal location for a repeater, and the reason for that is because the higher you are, uh, the better um, footprint that you can provide to your users. With a repeater, and say this, uh, in particular this repeater is actually a channel 4 repeater, so we'll make it a channel 4 repeater. It sits on the hill, and it listens, so it's listening, receiving, on channel 34. If that radio, if that repeater is uh, listening on 34 and this one's transmitting on 4, this repeater it will not do anything. But the problem is if you have a third person, say over here, who is using the repeater or transmitting on duplex at 34 when they're transmitting the repeater will hear them and it will re-repeat what it hears hence the name repeater on channel so it's transmitting on channel 4 so both these radios, this one's transmitting so it won't be, but both these radios will hear the repeater. Here's where the problem lies. If you have a person who's using channel 4 repeater and you have a person who's using channel 4 simplex, the person that is using channel 4 repeater, both these radios will hear that person. But the person who's using channel 4 simply 
Only this radio will hear this transmission because they are in range of this radio here. Whereas this radio up here is out of range and they will not hear this transmission. And in that case, this person here might accidentally start transmitting and cause interference on this radio that's trying to hear this one. So this is what happens when you have a person incorrectly using the frequency that is assigned as a repeater. To overcome this situation, you must make sure that there's no repeaters in your location if you're using that repeater channel and uh, both channels 34 and 4 is where the repeater is going to be located at so you need to stay clear of those channels. There is 8 designated channels on the lower portion of the UHF radio and there's another 8 repeater channels on the higher portion of the UHF radio uh, band. So channels to try and stay clear of if you're not using duplex mode is channels 1 to 8 channels 31 to 38, channels 41 to 48, and channels 71 to 78. They are designated repeater channels. But that doesn't mean that there's a repeater on every one of those channels. There may only be one or two repeaters in your location which is fine for you to use the other channels. So just be bear in mind that if you are using a repeater channel, but you're in simplex mode, that you could actually be causing interference to other users. Other users will also hear you that are in your range, but they might be using the repeater and trying to wait for a person that's transmitting on the repeater channel. So why is this important? Um, the reason why the repeaters are there is to increase the range of a radio and if you want to increase the range of the radio you need to make sure that you are on a repeater channel and you have to make sure that you are on a, a duplex function of the radio and the way duplex works is when this radio is transmitting it's transmitting on the receive side of the repeater. The repeater will retransmit your transmission on the transmit side of the, the channel, on channel 4, and every other user that's on channel 4 will hear you. This radio will still say it's on 4, but you won't know that it's actually transmitting on 34. It's just a function of the radio. And the reverse happens when it's going back the other way. So I hope I haven't confused you too much and I hope that's cleared up a few things about what duplex and simplex are and the operations of how it works. Thank you.